This is my ViewSonic G tablet running Cyanogen Mod Beta 4 and we are using Gmote, a Android app from the marketplace, to control my HTPC which is connected to a Panasonic Plasma television. And as you can see, it is working quite nicely. You can control mouse movement with this little program and you can also do text input. It's a little bit on the leggy side of things, but it's perfectly fine for typing in a search when you're using Netflix or something like that. And it just pulls up the stock tap and tap uh, keyboard to do that with. I haven't used another one because I think the stock one's all right. Swipes uh, too big, renders too large for the screen, too far to swipe things. Um, but yeah, it works pretty well. And the other fun thing you can do, since the G tablet has a full-size USB port on it, ta -da, is you can connect a keyboard to the G tablet and use the G tablet as a wireless keyboard thingy. <laughs> Doc. Whatever. Yeah. As we get back to a text box. And as you can see, he's tapping on the keyboard and things are popping up on the screen. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and the other fun thing you can do is you can even use a mouse with it because uh, Cyanogen mod has built-in support for mice. And it works a little weirdly because it's just emulating your finger touching the screen, um, but it definitely works. You just have to click down and hold the mouse button so you can move the mouse around the screen. So yeah, this is a pretty epic use of tablet. This app was really cool to start with, but the tablet just makes it that much better. And thank you for watching my video. Bye.